Hi everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. So here we are at the part 2 of the solar study series and in the part 1 we looked at how we can create this solar matrix that you see over here. It's just solar studies for different times of the year and for different months. So uh, there's for January, June and September and here are the times of 9, 1, 3 and 5. So if you want to know the solar and the shadows that were created at 3 pm for September you just follow this and this and you get this so we have learned how to create this in part 1 of the tutorial so do have a look at that and come back to this video so that you can follow along alright so what you see on, on after this uh, date and time is a tab called overlay so what I've done over here I'll just zoom in is basically I've uh, overlaid the shadows for the same time but for different months for, for so far I've overlaid the shadow for 9 a.m. but for June uh, uh, January and September onto the same map so I know where which part of my uh, site will be always on the shadow and which part of the site will be uh, having light at 9 a.m. on the site so I've done it for 9 a.m. 1 p.m. 3 and 5 and I've just color coded according to the months. You can see over here January, June, and September have been color coded with red, blue, and gray. So you can see over here I have this white small patch on this part of the site, which which is uh, which will all which will always be having light at 9 a.m. So this will allow you to kind of design better and allocate different spaces of the site to different activities because you know where light is coming and where shadows are gonna fall on the site. So let's get right into the tutorial and start so this is um, the site uh, this is uh, the model I've downloaded uh, for uh, from CAD mapper so it's the model of Sydney I'll just go right at the site so this is my site so I'll just delete all the existing buildings on the site all right awesome so I'll just uh, set up a view with uh, showing the top of the site zoom out a little bit, little bit so that our site is right, right at the center so I'll just go to that view that I've set up it as a scene now I'll just set up your scene and make your site come directly at the center and then we can just directly we can export a base map that we can use in Photoshop and overlay our shadows on top of it so let's quickly export a base map so let's call this for TV graphic and I'll just call this base all right now let's start doing our shadows so let's go to the shadows tab over here we'll quickly switch on our shadows awesome now what we need to do is we need to keep the time as constant and keep changing the months so i just keep uh, the time as 9 and we won't be touching this tab just set it to the time that you want if it's 9 at 9 or at whatever time you need and we'll keep on changing this value over here so right now it's a january so I need this uh, as an export so what I'll do is I'll switch off the line work so that I get only my shadows and I can edit the color of only the shadows so I'll just export them so this is critical guys always off your edges and export only the shadows separately so I'll export and I'll call it as January 9 a.m. awesome all right now let's change it to another month let's click it at 0, 05 so that's me so let's we'll get the shadow like this so let's export this as well we'll call it 2d graphic so i'll call this me awesome and now let's do it for one more month so let's do it, give it a 10 so this is i think october so it's still at 9 a.m so let's export this as well call it 2d graphic and we'll call it as october 9 a.m. Awesome, that's all the graphics that you need. So we can just start and directly get into Photoshop. So let's take our base map that we have over here and put it into Photoshop. Great, that's good. Now let's quickly create our site outline so that we can recognize our site and our site is highlighted on all this line work. So I'll just quickly trace it out. You can even uh, try uh, using a, a clear render for this purpose. I'll uh, even link my clear render video 
in the in the description below have a look at it it's a very easy way to create a render that you can use for graphics so we have uh, outlined our site so we can even give it a dashed look all right now let's start putting in our shadow so i'll take the uh, january one first all right so now once, once you put in your shadow what you need to do is you need to set your blend mode to multiply so come over here to the blend mode tab and set to multiply what that will do is it will delete the white parts and only keep the uh, the shadow the dark parts without actually erasing them so i just said that multiply and you see it's been set up now we need to give a color to the shadow so let's just come to a hue saturation tab over here to the effects and control tab go to hue saturation so now we've set up hue saturation so what we need to do is we need to set the hue saturation only to this 9am layer but uh, so right now you see that it will affect all the layers below it so what we need to do is just click this icon over here to lock it to the layer that's right beneath it then click the colorize tab right over here so that you can give a color then let's just set it to a color of our choice so i just go with any random color you can just go for the color tone if you have a color palette for your sheet you can try and match that so i'll set this at maybe green it's a little weird this color <laughs> so let's uh, maybe just go with the brown all right now let's bring in the other one too. so let's bring main just the same procedure so i just quickly change put or even that so set it to multiply awesome now just set a hue saturation lock it to that layer set the colorize mode and put in a color of your choice increase the hue saturation good all right awesome now let's bring in one more the october one all right and let's just set it to multiply and we will set uh, the color mode and give it a hue saturation lock it to that layer we'll set it to colorize all right and We'll just play with the saturation. And we can give a lighter color, it's lightness. Alright, awesome. We'll just bring in our shape layer to the top. All right now so we can even change the shape of the layer to maybe a brighter color maybe to a yellow All right, so our site is highlighted so you see guys that's how you create the solar overlay and you can uh, put a legend by the side showing the time for different time uh, for so for the month which color is which month and you can tell what time it is and so we, I, I just in the end just cropped it so i just set it went to the crop tool so there's a one is to one ratio and set it to only this mode so that the image is more clear and just click this button and you get a more clear option so this is how you create a solar overlay so try using this technique um, to put in um, the solar uh, data for different times of the year uh, into one image and explaining how it can affect your designs and uh, how you spatially define different volumes in your site Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Uh, please hit the like button if you like it and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you.